guys, that's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Heart of Gold by Neil Young. So uh, it's all pretty much a lot of open chords and stuff. It's a pretty simple song. So let's get to it. We've got just basically four different parts to learn. We're going to start with this E minor 7 and this intro that'll sound like this. So that E minor 7, which is just uh, all the strings open, 3rd fret on the 2nd uh, string, 2nd fret on the A string there. So you just pick it down strokes and mute it immediately by laying your palm across the strings. Then take it to a D major chord, then back to a standard E minor chord this time. Alright, now we're going to do a hammer on 0, 2 on the 5, and the same thing on the D string. A little bit timing though, it's like... So we have this. Alright, then he starts strumming basically the verse chords, which is this. It's just the E minor. He goes back to that. After three times through the uh, verse chords, he goes back to that. Then he goes straight back to those verse chords and starts the vocals coming. So we already know those chords, just those four chords of the verse while he's singing there. And then we get to the chorus, which is actually a little bit more subdued. We're going to start with that same E minor 7 chord. E minor 7 to a G. Then he goes to a C chord. Now, on the recording, he's not playing an open C chord. He might do that live, like nowadays and stuff, so it doesn't sound bad doing that there. It's still a C chord, but it's a, it's a barred C chord up here. Like if you look at recordings from him in the, you know, in the 70s and stuff, he's playing it like he did on the recording. It does have a little bit different sound, more compressed sound. So we have 3rd fret here on the A string and then a bar across the 5th fret on the D, G, and B strings. And then back to the G. So the chorus is actually this. Now, like I said, if you want to replace that C bar with a easier open position chord, go for it. He does it these days as well. So it's like So I just wanted to give you the option to sound exactly like the recording there. And then all we have left is the outro, which is uh, pretty much just standard E minor. D. By the way, when he hits on these Ds, a lot of times he just has a full five string D chord. So he has a low uh, A string in there too. Back to the E minor. D. E minor. So after you do that a few times, he goes from that E to a G. The, the, he basically goes to the chorus chord progression after about, I think, three times the E to D, E minor to D, back to E minor. He just goes from that E minor, straight E minor to that G to the, so it's pretty much like you're in your, you do the chorus riff once, but it's not the uh, minor seven chord that you play in the chorus, it's the regular minor, E minor. So it's a pretty uh, you know, simple song to get down and memorize. Um, 
but it does have you can challenge yourself with a bar chord if you have trouble with the bar chords you don't have to play it like that do with a pinky you can do it with your third finger you can do it with three fingers so there's no bar there just a bit of a stretch or you could just play it open whatever feels more comfortable to you that all sounds great all right so i hope you guys enjoyed learning this i enjoy teaching it i'll see you again soon for guitar lessons 365.com bye bye